does the government bodies or let's say European institutions first outline the issues and they create the compliance framework or they first look at what the issues are out in the wild and then they create the framework? How does it work? Both, actually, that's a very good question. The The European institutions and in general, the institutions worldwide, they work with, with experts. So they hire people like me and you to, to help them with establishing the rules that the framework that needs to be applied in specific sector, let's say, in the, the society. Um, of course, first of all, they have to identify the threats. So they're looking at the, the threat landscape. What are the, the countries where the, the attacks are originating from? What's the frequency? Are they deploying some malware? What exactly are the malicious activities coming from those countries? And then they focus on the intention. So what is usually that hackers are looking for? Is it financial benefits? Is it um, uh, to, to bring someone's reputation down uh, or to, to disrupt, let's say, an electrical facilities operations, which might be crucial for the... Um, the functioning of the society. And when they look at the threat landscape, only then they would consider specific sectors to be um, part of some framework. 